So what, you're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, baby. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I'm back with another NBA 2K24 video. First and foremost, shout out to everybody who watched my first part gameplay on my YouTube channel. But today, we're here to talk about quests. Now, there's been a lot of things mustering about not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do. And a lot of people are talking about how bad the shooting is in NBA 2K24 early. We're, we literally, it's day two. The game came out the 8th. It is now the 10th. I don't know why, but a lot of people are like, yo, I can't shoot. Small guards can't shoot. Um, People can't get their cigs right. People can't hit from the corner. They can't hit from the wing. They can't hit from the middle. They can't hide behind the screen and shoot. They can't uh, ISO burst out of a move and, and spot up three. I got all your answers. Quest is what's going to help you. So first and foremost, NBA 2K has already told us what quests were going to be in a game, such as the uh, Sunset Park, the Yard, the Point. Those are huge quests. But today, I want to break down all quests and why they're going to help you build the most and why the rep grind is what's holding people back. So let's hop into the video. So let's talk about the most important quest in the video game right now, the art of shooting quest. The art of shooting quest is gonna help you get your hot zones. What you need to do is hit your touchpad or however you pull up your map while you're in the city, make sure that you scroll down to the art of shooting building, set a waypoint and get over there immediate. Um, whether you're on the train, whether you're on your little skateboard John, make sure you get over to the art of shooting building and shoot in your hot spots. You can possibly become lethal, which is purple, or if you don't have any red spots in certain areas, you can go over there and shoot as well. You get two per week is looking like right now. Now, the second most important thing is to get some free drip. Everybody knows that, you know, you can go to State Farm, talk to Jake, get a, get a, get a nice little jogger pair of pants for the free ski, and you might even get a little bit of VC out of that. So I call that the most important because, you know, a lot of people don't have access to, you know, funds of VC and stuff like that. So make sure you go over there and get with him immediately. So the next important quest in the video game is the Chris Brickley gym. We've already known about Chris Brickley's gym for a while now. I even did it myself. That's why there's no gameplay here. It's closed currently. But Chris Brickley is where you want to go to make sure that you start building up your badges and, and playing a little bit of challenges in order to get other items and other quests all right the next quest on the list is the mob points accelerator now this time around everybody knows that my points accelerator was tied to the season pass but there's also a my points accelerator tied to quest this year so if you want to get a easy head start on getting your player to the 90 rebirth or even 99 make sure that you guys go see cj mccullum so that you can go ahead and get that quest started immediately the next most important quest in this video game is to talk to nba players whether you're going to the point whether you're going to the yard whether you're going to sunset park you want to make sure that you go ahead look at the overview of your map and make sure you look at all the quests that are at these said parks when you do that you talk to these NBA players and they give you objectives in order to unlock your badge perks. You want to unlock your badge perks because as you build out your my player, whether it's C tier, B tier, A tier, or S tier badges, you want to make sure that you're unlocking those perks as well to keep those badges where they are when you do get them there. For instance, I am a lock. So 94 feet, clamps, fast feet, all of those badges are on Hall of Fame and gold already. But in order for me to keep some of those badges where they are, I have to choose certain badges. For instance, if I decided to put 94 feet in overdrive, I would be putting that in overdrive for no reason at all. If I decided to put 94 feet inside of immunity, I would be putting that there for no reason at all. Those badges proc for me the most. The badges that I really need to focus on, for instance, if I want to catch and shoot on gold, I will put catch and shoot in overdrive because I know I'm a catch and shoot shooter. But at the same time, if I want to spin cycle to not go below silver, then I will put that in defense. And I'm sorry, not defensive immunity, but in the immunity 
badge perk so that I know that that badge won't regress because I don't drive to the rack and do spin layups or spin dunks as much as I should. All right. Last but not least on this list, you want to make sure that you go to the Gatorade facility and do your Gatorade facility quest. OK, the reason for this is not to just change your body type, but it's actually to unlock different boosts, different challenges, different quests. If you do not go to the Gatorade facility at all, you will never work on your physicals. You will never unlock the new body types that well, not new body types, but different body types for your player that I'm guessing you can change through or whatever the case may be. But not doing it, you're doing yourself a disservice, so make sure that you do it. And just a little tidbit, if you didn't know, in order to join the Elite or the Rise affiliation, that is a quest within its own. I am on the Elite, so I had to win 10 games and I had to score 100 points inside the Elite Park. Now for Shakedown's Rise, I'm not sure what theirs is because I never asked, but if you do have a quest for that and you do want to get on the rep grind, the rep grind has its perks. Now we all we all probably haven't seen the uh, actual like perks that you get, you know, for making it from, you know, rookie all the way to top 10, but the perks are pretty good. Also, you have to become like a veteran three in order to even get the attribute boost that you're supposed to have so that's before even making it into the top 10 so you want to make sure that you try to grind that out in order to make your player better it's not just about banners and things like that the attribute points are really really huge the new rebirth 2.0 that means that any build you make when once you get to a certain tier within the rep you can instantly make a new build and that build can instantly go to 99 not 90. So I know that some people like making builds and stuff like that, but before you go out and spend all of your money on these builds, please, for the life of me, make sure you grind the game so that you can make your builds go all the way to 99 without having to start to grind back over at 90. But that's just me. You feel what I'm saying? I already know I'm not making another build until I hit a certain rep inside Elite. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Make sure that you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, man. We're on our way to try to get to a million. So let a friend know all about my channel. Let them know I probably got the sauce for y'all, whatever y'all need. And also, my bill video for Park and Rec will be dropping later today, as well as my video on, I believe, the first Cell Squad Park game ever. Make sure that y'all tune in, man. Subscribe up, turn on notice, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Abba. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Abba. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.